Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the United Kingdom of Scandinavia in Road to 56. So, we're bas we basically advanced, over the course of the war, we've advanced from Portland, from Denmark towards Rostock, Kiel, and Lubeck, and Hamburg. And that's it before we did actually push down here, but we had to pull back because it's Danish. As it sounds, we now have a lot of enemy divisions tied up down here, which is probably going to help the Soviets a little bit. Not that much, because, but it looks like they're at least slowing down. And once again, our navy got absolutely wiped out, so currently rebuilding a few more, a few more. Heavy cruisers to make sure um reduce these a little bit. Basically our screening efficiency isn't great, so things keep getting through. We don't have a lot of heavy attack. Heavy attack. We're now out of we're pretty we're now out of um increase from all from what we had taken. So we'll pull back pull back here. The moment is basically a waiting game, seeing if the Brits can at least push up, push further into Sicily. And it looks like they're outnumbered, but the, the Italians can't really push either. So at least there's that. Elsewhere, the push in the British Raj. Yanks, British Raj, and South Africans are pushing into Iran. We've started building a port down here next in Ormuzkan. Please correct me on the pronunciation if I'm wrong on that. Try and help help this further push here. Once um once Iran falls, I suppose the say we start pushed in a bit. Once that happens, that'll just free up some troops to push its so it's early 1943, mid mid late 1943. There's a bit of a stalemate, waiting for to rebuild things to push back, keep pushing. Oh no, it looks like there's um, Yanks might have or the Brits. I'm not sure who have a have a couple of bit of. Apple pans heading, th heading this way. Hmm, steel scimitar sounds a bit like the Brits. Let's see if that's nine thirty-five. Oh, see that, can I? Now, at the very least, we've provided a foothold for the for the invasion, but we're basically just sitting there. And there's a landing in naval landing in Antwerpen. Ah, uh, single infantry It's Like, come on, AI. I seem to get that. Oh. Our one airing of medium bombers providing strategic bombing. Must have really annoyed the Germans. They put lots of air power over Berlin. Eh, uh, well. I need to get. Do not have nearly enough of those because I went in on close air support rather than. Fighters. May not have been a good idea. Lost air superiority over the sea. Danish belts, Eastern Germany. Again, I can't really do much more about that. 
They are producing them, but it doesn't rate. It takes. We just don't have it. Ah. Hell are they thinking? Oh, and now we seriously. Well, isn't this a chaos again? Battlefield in Sicily. On the plus side, on the plus side, that's going to be a loss of um, Italian and German troops. Not a lot of German troops, but some trapped down here. However, I will be a little more cautious this. Door, Russian go to. Is going to push. There you know. And of course, for that force I built here has gone completely wasted because it's pulled out. Bloody. Excellent. Mussolini just... That's... So Italy is going to fall into a civil war soonish. Going to hell. I'd say it's going to be a while before we can actually do any pushing. All I want to do is get a couple more divisions here on the um them on Denmark. Quite a few more on the um hold it the reaction force, but it really isn't. No oh, man, I am going to since I have the spare or I am going to XP, I'm just gonna bump place this. The mobile price infantry. The I really can't remember if it's if eighteen or twenty width is the default default now, but price recon or go armored recon that increases the heart attack of. Of our tanks, but I think let's go with motorized because it'll speed things up a bit. Logistics here, signal them because it'll give them some breakthrough and support artillery. And build maybe two of these before I need to start creating new ones. And I suppose I'll we'll build one to try and be reaction force. Give them a very heavy attacking unit. Belgium has revolted against their occupiers. I don't know if I'll get involved this time. I tried that with the Dutch, and it's what caused us to get. And we're not fully mobilized out of all our people yet, so I'm going to leave that for now. I'm to start looking. Hmm. Buffer artillery. 
Artillery doesn't solve the problem. You aren't using enough of it. Yeah, we're losing a lot of allied ships as well. So, they're all old and early, as in pre war battleships. Ooh, a couple of um, recent cruisers as well. Early destroyer is not such a big deal. Not a lot of gain from that. In planes. to wonder if I should put these um, cruisers on by rating instead. What I really need is to get the yes, the groups and then flying uh, floating fortress to buff our cruisers. We just don't have enough speed and we're not gaining enough to do anything there. Now the Germans are pulling troops away from us to respond to this up this uprising. And they're gonna have to start diverting troops sooner or later to take um Italy. But that's that's where the war on Iraq is. So Britain had created Basra for Kuwait. And But they've been pushed all the way back here. Soviets appear to have stalled. Nothing I can really do about that. Not mine. Go down here. Now, and as usual, we don't have nearly enough air superiority. We need to update fighters and more of them. Now, our strategic farmers are ready to go again. So, go after the anti aircraft guns. Probably some of their military factories as well. Any radar around here? A few ports, though. I'll go after them instead of back. We're certainly going to do this at night, so that's chance of getting spot. Well, that's a nice solid beachhead of Sicily and Calabria and then Napoli. The Yanks are pushing from Lucca into La Spezia. Another not a good port to take. And it looks like, yep. Germans are gonna have to divert more troops to shore up this area too. Still probably not a good time for us to put for us to push. I learned that the hard way. Seriously, what the hell are you wildcats doing? Outnumbered across a river into forest. Probably just a probing attack while we get these guys trained up a little bit more. It's where they seem to do that as soon as we start training up our troops. Oh good, Iraq has fallen, so that's one less to deal with. The thing I'm going to do is try and build up a here. Let's see, let's build some single best thing you can really do in this game to help run is just 
keep building railways and ports. Let's see. One of the majors, anyway. Maybe. I'm basically just doing that because. Well, Belgium's turned, turned into a rather sizable pocket. So I'm not sure they're going to last for very long. Quite a few um, green ticks in the lines. They're pushing into Dunkirk. But again, I just don't think they have the numbers. So, so it looks like La Spezia fell back to the Indians. Oh. Most of what I'm doing is just causing as much havoc behind the German lines as I can. It annoys them? Great. See if I can. This area. Does it put these back onto um, local police force? I'm just going to put the target up to about oh, 14%. 15. I think I can live with that. It, frees, it basically frees up some manpower. Got military police. So buff our person battalion just even further oh the people's republic of bulgaria has declared war on the sardom of victor bulgaria which is probably not gonna be all that helpful to us right now but still losing this here's superiority i say they just have way more in the sky than we yes they're trying to keep their ways clear from evil strike that's unfortunate <clears throat> those cheese indies have fallen to the the japanese what do we do about that to do something about this though yeah this isn't the most exciting thing to watch but probably the best way i can actually contribute on that side of the world since we had one of our Well, since I've nothing else to really work on at the moment, this seriously need, need, needs to be updated for the viewers if the mod developers see this. It's pretty minor. Level one railway from Nord Norge to Nord Schleswig. Nothing else to really work on. And in real life, you'd pro this would probably be a massive thing oh, looks like they're starting to lose planes here close air support i don't know for certain but the fact that they well, under there another wing of only or something that's pretty oh looks like the brits have managed to take marseille back from the from the Germans. So that means another Porsche. Hmm. 
Looks like I need to put this back up to the secret police, try and get this resistance down. Hmm, Manchu use enter Ulan Batar. That's not expected. Yeah. Well, this the reaction force. I'm gonna name it some. Can't think of a better name for now. That didn't last long. This port going to be ready by the time we back. Now I'm starting to think that maybe I should turn this reaction force into an expeditionary force. Send that try and send them out back to lend some. Do they must movement mountain? I'll send that so on the tight well, initially. Yeah, Monaco Falls. What a surprise. It's going to be complete. Peace. We not. Oh, it did. That means we can get some supplies in here to help these guys. Probably won't make probably too little too late, but now this railway is coming along nicely, so perfect. This area. It's like this is this stable because the Japanese do not have much supply in this region at all. Nor does Siam. This area on the hand has completely stalled. I have built a few railways here to try and help build more. Yeah, when did this become Railroad Tycoon 2? Now that I have some cannon, I'm going to replace. This doesn't mean I can't exactly use half of these. Get rid of the bomb locks entirely because. This is just going to be a pure fight. Who's... I keep them because... Now this does lower our agility of this I think that's a good enough design for now best news is because this is actually this is an upgrade we can convert them very quickly like seven a day sneeze dash
looks like the Brits of their colonies are here. Basically, has the port, the port I built here seems to have actually helped at least stabilize this area. It's shifted more over this way. Might be worth building a second one down to get some extra through. That most of what I'm doing is just building up railways and. I could have all these infrastructure bits ages ago. Useless now. Might as well keep doing them. Like, there's nothing I really need to, like, particularly need to build right now. But I could try. Save that. That is a lot of convoys the Soviets lost there. I guess I probably lose. Maybe this is going to be. These guys on um, naval strike instead. This naval strike are the are the naval strikes are the bane of submarines. You can see we're basically chewing up some of their submarines, causing a significant chunk of damage. They've done this ages ago. All those enemy convoys managed to put up a good fight against our against our destroyers. Like we had to actually pull those destroyers back to repair them. Having now got engine four, I think I can upgrade these to just go pure cannons. Slightly more, it make them slightly more agile. And if I do to put them on ground attack later, it does mean they're going to have some extra logistics strikes. But maybe bump up their agility even more. Good design. Do have a lot of planes to upgrade though, but yeah, it is what it is. Well, I'll leave it there for that for this episode. Still, just a lot of sailmating, waiting for things to build up, waiting for these guys to train up and send them elsewhere. Just move them up, back over to the mainland. for that does this uh, this sector looks relatively stable I think I have railways to pull all the way here oh I can't I could probably gonna save up on all the convoys Wait for the next auto save before I just to, so I don't lose anything here. Because that'll also help the supply situation down here. It was getting a bit down here is a bit thin. Again, there's not much I can read. On the naval front, not a like 
Aquifer. So, like, we keep losing our ships. Of course. We lost a couple of, destroy of our new heavy cruisers that were out trading because they ran into the German fleet. There's not much I can really do about that. So what I'm going to do is just try and, try and keep building them up again. It's annoying me. Well, Belgium is still holding. It's like the attack into Italy has stalled, much like it did in real life. Basically, Italy is all mountainous and hilly terrain. That's not great for fighting. This is where the uh, Persian Gulf has been completely secured. It's like they're starting to push back here a little bit. Maybe not much. Soviets are still hold are still holding on around Leningrad. Just got haven't got as close here as I thought they would. I think that's pretty much how this war is going to work. We just stretch them out until they need more. This means it around. And the tactical bombs are actually doing something at least, so we've got that going for us. And but okay, that is gonna be it for this episode. See you in the next one. Bye for now.